the formidable robot. Because of my video downloaders being glitchy, I had to rip those cutscenes from the ROM. However, I just got a single cutscene when I was done with the rip. Suicide King underscore 01 dot ABI. It was a clip of 2 minutes and 58 seconds. It was not even in its specific format, it came directly as an HD video somehow. The cutscene began like in the intro for Faces of Evil, yet it was mute. All what I could hear was a faint eerie static noise in the background. Link was stretching at the screen, saying nothing. The next scene was different. When the king was drinking his wine, he did not move. There was no background at all. Link zoomed into the screen, immobile. For a split second, he had no face. I was getting really scared, because nothing of that was part of the game. It cut back to the king. This time, he was supposed to say his famous Ma Boy line, but he looked different. His hair and beard was white, his pupils were red, and his skin was pale. He was still mute. It felt like decades passed through both scenes, like if he became older. The scene cut back to the place where Link was supposed to be. He was not there. Instead, a big stain of blood was on the bricks, and some windows were broken. The scene went back to the king, who stared at the scene for a few seconds, then went back to his wine, slowly. The camera focused on Link again, but he was a lot more abnormal. He was almost completely black, his smiling mouth had sharp bleeding shark-like teeth. The background was black and red, and there was eerie music in the background. The scene went black and mute for a second. Link's smile was left behind, with a pair of red pupils staring at me. I was majorly scared at that point. The scene went black for a few seconds. Then, I saw the king's chalice slowly falling down, with what sounded like the song of healing playing backwards in the background. When it hit the middle of the nothingness, it shattered. Shortly after, the king was falling to his back, with eyes closed. I was sure he was dead. Now the title made sense. He committed suicide. How? The chalice maybe had poison in it? Who knows? Without any noise, he hit the ground, immobile. For a split second, his colors were different. There was an iron stack going through his chest, and the triangle of his forehead was an inverted cross. I did not want to continue, but my curiosity grew stronger, and forced me to keep watching. There was more darkness for a few seconds. Then a sword, pointing down, appeared silently. It blinked in inverted colors for a few frames. Link's hand came down and pulled up. His black silhouette appeared on a red background, after two seconds of a black screen. He said some sort of demonic whisper, but not during all the scene. It went mute as he continued talking. When it went black again, he said something distorted. After I tried to hear it five times, it became clear. Kill anyone friendly. I was really scared at that point. Then Guanam flew in like in the first real scene, but he had that older style. There was no sound or background. When his speech ended, Link's sword appeared, a demonic whisper was slowly becoming louder. It cut to Guanam again. Then Link holding the sword and pulling it up. And then, Guanam again. When it turned black, there were slaughter noises. Link's sword reappeared, but it was covered with blood. It cut to Link's black silhouette, with a different background this time. There was more black screen. And then, Link's sword. He came in again, and picked it up. But this time, he began to kill a lot of people with the sword. I wasn't able to see their faces, I could just see the sword swinging and the blood spilling. There were lots of screams and massacre noises. Those screams were making me feel completely scared. Link stabbed one person, who slowly raised his hand, then he chopped it off. There was a chained man in the background, struggling to escape while he watched Link kill two more people. He begged Link to not kill him, but Link ignored his pleas and cut him in half. For a split second, a pair of horrendous eyes appeared on the screen. Then there was more black screen. This time, it was longer. Link slowly came toward the screen, faceless, with different colors. As he approached, random images appearing for single frames, eerie music was heard, with continuously increased volume. When he was looking at me, he began to glitch. That was, until there was a deep close-up at his empty face. Before the video ended, the king appeared in a single frame, zombie-like. 
After that, I got a blue screen, 